Avery, uh, who has uh, held on to his one spec seat, the chair of the Labour Party. Um, Ian Lavery, uh, your majority was slashed significantly. You uh, have gone from many thousands to a majority of just 814. You have, however, held on to your seat. What on earth has happened to the party nationally? Are you congratulating us here? Yes, you, I am congratulating, congratulating you. Are you me for hanging on to my seat? Yes. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. You're very what's welcome. Happened, I'll tell you what's happened is that, in, 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 in my view, what, what, what's happened seriously is that this is, is basically a rerun of the 2016 referendum. What we've seen in communities like mine, you know, former mining communities, white working class communities, my community is 98, 99% white uh, people, working class area. What they have done is the, <coughs> they seriously believe that when they voted in 2016 and the outcome was uh, result 17.4 million people in favour of leaving the EU, that that should have been accepted. And the say the Labour Party, quite simply, is not accepting us, is trying to prevent that from happening, uh, trying to block it in the Commons. And uh, as a result of that, you know, you cannot just defeat democracy by sh sweeping it under the carpet. And, and I can I just ask you, can I ask, you the bleeding, can I ask you the bleeding obvious? If you feel this way, why weren't you shouting this from the rooftops at your leader? So given you're the chairman of the party, right, why weren't you literally round there every day saying, what are you doing? You're committing political suicide. I've been uh, for 18 months now, Piers. I've been suggesting uh, to the leadership uh, in the shadow cabinet in strategy meetings that we are facing this coming down the track. I mean, we, well, you know, I've heard it in my own constituency, Piers, that people are very much unhappy. Uh, people are saying Brexit means Brexit. People are saying they were given this opportunity of a vote in 2016, and it looks like the Labour Party are trying to block that. And I have been saying that. I can guarantee you. But it wasn't. Uh, you Mr. Mr. Labour, it have written in the Guardian. I, listen, I, I, listen. Some of the, <laughs> I agree. You look, you I, I, listen, I agree with you. I agree with you about all you're saying there. But it wasn't just about Brexit with Labour, was it? Jeremy Corbyn's leadership has been exposed as deeply unpopular. He was unpopular within many of his own party. We need to be looking at that where things went wrong. We need to be discussing what could have been better, what perhaps should have been done, what wasn't done. And we've got to start listening to people, by the way, because this is purely about democracy. And, you know, when you look, Piers, when you look at the 2017 manifesto. It was a fantastic radical manifesto. Jeremy Corbyn was the leader of the party and we said that we would listen, we would accept the outcome of the mm. 2016 referendum. What's different in 2019 is, of course, we have got a radical manifesto, we have got Jeremy Corbyn as the leader of the party, but we've said we'll have a second referendum and we've suffered the consequences mm. of this type of mistrust within the, the community. Who would you like to see Why take over from, as leader? You know, the East Midlands or West Midlands? Oh, well, I think, I think we've got a, a, a great array of talent, to be honest with you, and I think... Uh, when Jeremy decides that it's time for him to go, then, you know, whoever steps up to the plate, then I'll listen to what people have got to say because I think we've, we've got to maintain the policies that we've got. They were absolutely fantastic. Ian okay. Lavery, can, can, can I just ask? Can I just ask? They, well, they, could, they couldn't have been that fantastic. No, can I just ask a question? The Remain has comprehensively lost in this election, so presumably you wouldn't back... Yeah. Any of the Labour candidates, for instance, Keir Starmer, Emily Thornberry, who are Remainers, the future of the Labour Party now would have to be a Brexit leader, do you think? I think we've got a, a wide array of talent right across a, the, the party. It's a broad church. We've got to get rid of this leave uh, and remain toxicity not just within the party, but, of course, within the community. It's been horrible on the doorstep, you know, it really has. It's been people being angry. So it's not a case of I'll support a Remainer or, or a Leave a, a MP for the leadership. Okay. It's a case of listening to what they've got to say and what their offer is for the future. OK, Mr Lavery, congratulations on your win, a rare bright spot for the party on a very dismal night. We appreciate you joining us.